Campaign 2014, one of the closest areas in the tri-state area is for Connecticut governor. And tonight, there is controversy over voting in some precincts. CBS 2's Lou Young live in Old Greenwich tonight. Lou. Yeah, there's a lot of variables in this race, Maurice, but this could very well end up being the tightest race in the country. So tight that the day began with concerns about access to the polls and turnout and ended up in court. Take a look. When Governor Dan Malloy voted this morning in Hartford, he had to wait more than 30 minutes. And in a race this close, that was alarming to him, prompting his campaign to seek an extension of voting hours. They went to court this afternoon trying to keep the polls in Democrat-heavy Hartford open late. His Republican challenger, Tom Foley, voting in Greenwich, had no such problem. His campaign says the Hartford voting delays were temporary and don't warrant an extension. Voters in this state seem dug in along party lines. I'm for Malloy. Why? I like what he's doing, and uh, I want him to continue doing what he's doing. Uh, Foley, why is that? We need some change in Connecticut. We got it. We have to uh, get this budget stabilized, start generating some jobs. Polls say the race is close, a rematch of the nail-biter we saw four years ago when 6,000 votes separated the two candidates in an election with more than a million votes cast. That year, it was the urban centers like Bridgeport that made the difference for Malloy. President Obama campaigned for Malloy to get out the city vote then and now, even making Election Day comments on the radio here today. Foley is trying to capitalize on voter fatigue with incumbents, especially at the national level. He campaigned with New Jersey Governor Chris Christie last week. Yeah, the uh, campaign issues in this uh, race are the uh, economy, taxes, and gun control, and that court hearing about the extension of the voting right, uh, hours in Hartford still underway. We'll get back to you if we have a decision. Four years ago, uh, it would, took days to get a result, and if that happens again, few people here would be surprised, really. We're in Old Greenwich. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. All right, Lou, thank you. In New